Cyprus News by FinancialMirror.tv. Finance Minister Stavrakis unveiled a fiscal package aimed at generating savings and additional revenue of 500 million euros a year to curtail growing deficits, but pledged that the government would not resort to new taxation. Instead, the onus will be on cost savings and new sources of revenue. The package includes changing valuations used to tax real estate, unchanged since 1980, stamping out tax evasion, and closer monitoring of a civil service payroll. Authorities will also pursue changes to pension contributions in the public sector and introduce cutbacks in the benefit system, Stavraki said. The proposals do not include any proposal to cut civil servant salaries, which take a 2 billion euros chunk out of an 8 billion euros budget. However, Stavraki said that at the end of the present communist-led government's tenure in 2013, authorities wanted the number of civil servants to be reduced by 1,000. Authorities expect the island's public deficit to hit 4.5% of GDP next year in the worst-case scenario of diminishing earnings. The European Commission expects the shortfall to be higher at 5.7% of GDP. The island, representing 0.2% of the eurozone economy, slid into recession in the second quarter of 2009 on a slump in the real estate sector and declining earnings from tourism. The first shots of a massive new holiday price war were fired, including up to 20% off some trips for next summer to get more Britons abroad with Turkey set to become the most popular destination for British tourists in 2010. The price war has been kicked off by travel giant Thomas Cook and the UK's biggest chain of independent agents, the Cooperative Travel. The Turkish resort of Dalaman has seen an 82% increase in bookings and has taken over from Majorca as the number one destination in 2010. Majorca is now in second place with Orlando, Florida third, the Spanish Costa Blanca fourth, and the Greek island of Crete fifth. Other destinations high on the booking list include Bodrum in Turkey, Ibiza, and Larnaca. The Business Climate Index in Cyprus continued its recovery, gaining 3.9 units in December 2009, according to the Business and Consumer Survey conducted by the Economic Research Center of the University of Cyprus in cooperation with the European Committee. The increase in the Business Climate Index was due to the improvement in the services sector, which bears the highest weight in the index. It improved from negative 14 in November to negative 10, and the construction sector from negative 43 to negative 36. Marfin CLR Research noted that the recent economic upturn recorded in the EU has not yet been witnessed in Cyprus, but is expected to add positively to a gradual revitalization of Cyprus's economic activity in the near future. During an extraordinary general meeting of shareholders held on December 23rd, Marfin Popular Bank shareholders approved the merger of the bank with Marfin Ignacia Bank SA. The level of participants at the EGM via direct and or proxies reached 44.2% of MPB share capital. The EGM also authorized the board of Marfin Popular Bank to issue 5,781,121 ordinary shares of the bank to replace 8,593,919 ordinary shares of Marfin Ignacia as a consideration to their shareholders, as well as amending the terms of the share options scheme, with the exercise price being lowered from Euro 10 each to Euro 450 each, with the expiry date being extended by two years up to 2013. About 2% of shareholders, mainly institutional investors, voted against the change in the share options scheme. State-owned mobile operator Cita Mobile Vodafone recorded 13.5 million short message greetings on Christmas Day, up from the 8.87 million SMS recorded last year, and three times higher than the average daily rate of 4.3 million messages. The total for SMS sent from 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve to noon on Boxing Day reached 18.26 million, while according to CETA, the highest rate of messages was recorded at 11.06 and 32 seconds on Christmas Day, when it peaked at 465 SMS per second. Unlike previous years, CETA said there were no problems of heavy traffic and delays, with the busiest time being from 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve to 30 minutes past midnight on Christmas Day. Wishing you a happy and prosperous 2010. Thanks for watching FinancialMirror.tv.